Okay, today we're going to be changing the spark plugs, spark plug wires, distributor cap, and the rotor on our Volvo Penta 8.2 GSI. Same process will apply for most Volvo engines and some uh, Merc Cruiser engines as well. They're all set up pretty similarly when it comes to the ignition components. We've got all uh, OEM parts, brand new Volvo Penta cap, rotor, plug wires, and on the spark plugs, I prefer these on this motor. They're the correct gap, and um, they're also the correct heat rage. These will do pretty well on this motor and get us set up for nice long service life. On the uh, spark plugs, I prefer to change them out every season. That's just me. Same with the um, cap and rotor. On the spark plug wires, you can probably go five eight years depending on how often you use your boat and what kind of conditions you boat in. So let's get started. Okay first thing you want to do is locate all your different components on these motors. The cap and rotor and where all the plugs plug into is right back here. You see all the uh, plug wires terminating back here on the cap. Uh, the cap is this guy right under here that all the plugs are going into. This cap doesn't look that bad. It looks like it's been replaced at least in the last couple years. And then your center wire, it goes to your coil, which in this case is right there. While you're doing this, you always want to make sure to check your coil. Uh, look and see if you have any bulging or any cracks in it. If you do, go ahead and replace your coil as well. What I like to do is replace one wire at a time. That way the firing order does not get confused when you're putting them back on and uh, you're able to uh, by replacing them one at a time, cut out any sort of room for error. Um, and then once you replace all the wires, come back and pop the distributor cap off and uh, replace the cap. Again, move the wires over to the new cap one at a time. So we're going to get started doing that. Um, if you follow your wires down, you can see where your spark plugs are. And they're going to be plugged in to each of the spark plug on the side of the engine block and uh, you'll unplug one of those at a time and the process I'm going to follow since I'm doing all of these uh, components together, spark plugs, the wires, cap and rotor, I'm going to pull uh, one of these off at a time, grab it by the neck, might have to turn it a little bit, let's see, there you go, that's your spark plug wire boot and there's the spark plug. So what I'm going to do is pull one wire off at a time, replace the spark plug, put the new wire on the spark plug, and route it over to where it needs to be on the old cap, get all of those done, and then replace the cap. And the process I'll follow there is putting each wire from the old cap to the new one, one at a time, and then replacing the rotor and reassembling it all. So let's get started here. All right, so I got my spark plugs replaced on this side. I went ahead and did all the spark plugs and then just loosely put each wire back. That way I can get the spark plugs out of the way and then start working on the wires. So I'm gonna start at the very front end here and take this guy off. And I also took the, um, uh, the clips off that held the wires together. I'll put those on at the very end. So we've got this one wire off. We're going to follow it all the way up and we're gonna see where it plugs in on the distributor cap, it's this one here. So I'm gonna pull just this one off and pull it through. And what we're gonna do next is make sure that we're replacing it with the correct wire. So here's the old one, and we're gonna find the one that's the same length, and that way we've got the lengths all lined up. We're not putting the wrong wires in the wrong places and we're good to go. All right, so we've got we've got that new wire on and routed it somewhere to the old one. And there it is plugged in next to all the old wires and we're going to go through and replace all the other ones one by one on this side of the motor, replace the igniter wire and then go to the other side of the motor and do the plugs and the wires there as well and then last we'll get to the cap and the rotor. 
Okay, so we've got our new spark plug wires on on this side. Make sure as you're putting them on, they click nice and firmly on the spark plug end and on the distributor side after you put the new cap on. If you buy the OEM Volvo wires, they do come with new clips. Plenty of them. I like to make sure all the wires are nice and organized and bundled and out of the way. And on the top side, nice and lined up and organized as well. So we'll move on to the other side. All right, we've got all the new wires on. I left these clips loose just because they're so close to the cap um, and they're attached to this bracket here. So I want some slack there so we can move the cap once we get it loosened up. So the cap comes off with two screws. There's one right there and there's another one right underneath right there, opposite of each other. You take those two uh, screws off. They have a hex head or you can use a Phillips might be different on the new cap you got. The OEM Volvo one should have a hex head and, uh, uh, and also Phillips, so you can use either one. Uh, take those off, the cap will come right off, and you want to switch over the wires over to the new cap one by one, making sure that they're on the correct post in the correct position, and then uh, we'll replace the rotor and go from there. Alright, we've got those two screws loose. Our cap should just come right off like that. Here's the new cap. It goes, there's the flat side here. The flat side goes towards the back of the motor. So it'll go that way if you want to pre-position it. And there is our rotor. And it looks like it's an aftermarket one. This is the Volvo rotor. So we're going to take that one off, put our Volvo rotor on, and then uh, start replacing should pop right off you just pull yeah they, they're usually pretty rusted and gross underneath but you want to make sure you've got a nice good fit there you might want to take a little bit of steel wool to that just so you've got the rust off this one's not bad that's just dirty so let's put this one back on the same direction and then we can get our wire switched over from the old cap to the new cap and get it replaced. All right, we are all done. We've got our new plugs here, nice and organized with the wire clips all the way up to the distributor, the new distributor, new cap and rotor, and all the way down to this side with the new plugs and wires as well. So after you finish, if you are close to the water, go ahead and throw it in and make sure everything works correctly. And if not, if you have some muffs, put them on the out drives and make sure everything is functioning correctly. One thing I've run into on a previous boat is somebody, a uh, previous owner, didn't put the right wires in the right spot. So some of them were uh, too tight, some of them were too loose. If you run into that, you may have to run each wire by hand and uh, just make sure it's the right length and the correct one in the right spot. Hopefully they're already in the right place and you can just measure them out, compare against the new ones and get them all replaced. I hope this video was helpful for you and uh, you're able to get yours done. All in all, including taking this video, this took maybe 40 minutes for me. Uh, without the video, probably about a 25-30 minute job. Good luck with yours and uh, comment down below if you have any questions and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.